Hello everyone, welcome back to J English tutorial and review. For today's video, I am going to review how to create quiz or survey using a Microsoft form. Microsoft form is one of the Microsoft Office 365 applications. And before we can access applications of Microsoft Office 365, it is a requirement that as user, we need to have a Microsoft account first, okay? So just if in case you don't have your Microsoft Office account yet, um, you can go to um, login.live.com, okay? Login.live.com to create your free account, okay? As you can see here, one of the options uh, says no account, create one. So just click create one. And once you are there, just follow the instructions. Just keep on um, clicking next until you're done creating your Microsoft account. Okay. So assuming that you're done creating your account um, to get started with uh, creating our survey or quiz, just go to office.com. Okay. Then as you can see right here, I already have my username. So I will just click sign in and it asked me my password. So I have to enter my password and click sign in. Okay. Um, as you can see inside, these are just uh, some of the Office 365 applications, okay? You can see here Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, SharePoint, Teams, Sway, then Forms, okay? Then to create our quiz or survey, we are going to use Forms, okay? So just click Forms. So as you can see right now, these are some of the quizzes that I have created for my classes, okay? As you can see, we have here two options, new form and new quiz. Um, when I tried to explore these two in the past, I noticed that there are some options that are in the new quiz which are not in new form, which are not found in new form. So if I am to suggest when you create quiz or survey, just click um, new quiz, okay? Then you can write the title of your quiz here. Um, quiz 1.5, for example, you can add a description. Um, if you want to insert a picture or image that has something to do with your quiz, you can search it from the internet or you can upload it. If you have a picture from your computer, then just click add, okay? Then to get started with our questions, okay, just click add new here. Okay, so as you can see, we have here different options. We have choice, text, rating, date. If you click this uh, symbol here, it gives you more options, okay? So let's start first with choice, okay? If you click choice, this is the option that allows you to have a multiple choice type of question, okay? So just type your question here. Your option one, two. If you need to add more options, just click add option, okay? Um, what I like about this option is if you are creating a quiz with all multiple choice questions, you can set your quiz that after your students um, have answered the questions, this will automatically give them their scores. All you have to do is adjust set the correct answer for example if option one or a if this is a for example if a is your correct answer if you can see just click this check mark here that means you set the correct answer for number one and just write the points here if that is one point or two points or one point all you have to do is write the point in the points box okay and as I said, whenever your students are done answering the quiz, it will automatically give them or give you 
their scores. So you don't have to check their answers manually. So that is one thing that I like about this option for multiple choices, okay? Then just click this required. It means that the students cannot leave that question unanswered. Then you can only click multiple answers if your question allows the students to select for multiple answers. If not, then don't uh, click it or open it, okay? Then just click add new to add new question. Uh, let's try check. Uh, this is the type of question that allows you to have an open response type of question, okay? So if you write the question here, in the next box, your students are going to write their answer. Then usually, since this is an open response uh, question, you just click this long answer. It allows your students to have long answer okay then you can put always the points here if you like then for rating so this is good for survey okay if you want to uh if you want to ask your students or your respondents like to rate something um the levels here is from two to nine then you can change the symbol number or star okay then another option here is for date so for some reasons uh, you have a question that is asking your students or your respondents to write a date so you can have this option too um, another type of question here is um, the ranking so for ranking this allows your students to arrange the options like which comes first, comes next, or comes third. And then another option here is we have the Likert. For Likert, this is also good for a survey, okay? So we have your statement one, statement two, then you can edit that. Same with option one, option two. You have the options to edit these options here. I mean the words here, okay? Then if you want to add more statement, just click add statement, okay? Then another option we have is a file upload. So if you want to upload a file in which uh, it has something to do with your question, then you can. Um, net promoter score. This is also good for survey, okay? In the descriptions here, like not all likely and extremely likely, you can erase them and you can change them, okay? Depending on the descriptions that you're going to use for your survey. Assuming you're done creating all your questions, the next part is we need to share now this quiz or survey. Okay, just click share. Then you have here copy. If you click copy, it means that you can now paste a link to the platform where you would like to share this quiz. For example, you may share this in your Google Classroom. If you're using Microsoft Teams, then you can share this to your Teams, to your class notebook. You may share this through your email okay you, then if you go to home you can see here quiz 1.5 what i like about this is you don't have to save this to your computer because every time you are creating a survey or a quiz those ones are going to be automatically saved inside this area okay so you don't have to have a special location for you to save this okay then anytime if you want to uh, modify or change something, you can always do that, okay? You can always change your questions or modify or add some more, okay? Then always click share if you would like to share it. Then let's go back to forms. Um, as you can see right now, for example, in one of the forms that I have created, you can see that uh, there are 95 responses. It means that it will also tell you how many of your respondents or how many of your students already responded to your quiz or survey, okay? For example, if you click that, just click responses, then review answers. You can find your students or your respondents here. You just click this. It will give you the names of your respondents or students. Then as you can see, uh, you have the points here or their scores. Because this quiz is composed of all multiple choice questions. That's why I have the points here.